What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Folks, we're going to have a look at Saturn's rings. Hmm, Saturn's rings. What's the first thing that comes to your mind? Well, how about the ring makers of Saturn from Norman Berggren? Now, this book was put out in 1986. Now, what he claims is that the A ring from Saturn was incomplete. How can that possibly be? Now, folks, I'm going to do a lot of speculating in here because we really don't know what the deal is here. What we're going to do is we're going to have a closer look at the B-ring, the edge of the B-ring, where we can see these shadows sticking up. And there's some other kind of wild little features of this edge of this ring. Is it really just particles or some kind of weird dust and stuff like that on the edge of this ring? Let's just jump right into it and find out, shall we? All right, you can see it right here. Ring Makers of Saturn, hardcover, January 1st, 1986. Now, it says, signed by Norman Bergram, and of course, they're talking about the book here, with full-color photos and illustrations from photographs taken during the Voyager 1 flight to Saturn in 1980. The reader of this remarkable book sees that one of the photographs shows the A-ring is incomplete. Well, wait a minute. That's a little odd. Let me show you this. And you can see right here on the left-hand side, it says, Saturn's rings are thought to be pieces of comets, asteroids, or shattered moons that broke up before they reached the planet, torn apart by Saturn's powerful gravity. They are made of billions of small chunks of ice and rock coated with other materials such as dust. Okay, let's go here. You can see right here all of the rings, A, B, C, and D. And of course, you get the E ring that runs way out here past the main rings. And of course, you get the F ring here. Now, there's supposed to be seven rings in total. And I think it's like, uh, I believe it's five spaces in between. I could be wrong. But regardless, that shows you the moons. And I think they said this would be like 53 moons. Like it's got its own solar system kind of thing, right? But... You can see the rings there, okay, and you can see Saturn's B rings. This is what we're going to look at today, folks. These fluffy peaks are among the tallest seen in Saturn's main rings, towering as high as 2.5 kilometers, or I think that's about a mile and a half, roughly, uh, high, uh, above the planes of the rings, a significant deviation from the vertical thickness of the planet's main rings, which is generally about 10 meters. They rise abruptly from the edge of the B ring to cast long shadows in this image. Well, wait a minute. Why aren't they on any other ring? I think the A ring is past here. It's in this section here above in the top of the photo, right? Part of the Cassini division between the B and A rings appears to be top of the image showing ringlets in the inner division. So let me get these right. These peaks are supposed to be just ring particles that respond to gravity. Okay, what about the other rings? Why aren't they doing that there? Maybe it's because it's closer to Saturn? Good possibility, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to have a look at these. And you can see, folks, when we're looking at this here with the magnifier, we come over to here, and I see the same thing we see on the moon. And now we're seeing it on Saturn's ring. What gives here? What is with the highlighted BS we're seeing here? This is the same thing I see on every planet or moon that NASA or ESA or anybody else is trying to hide something that's there. At least that's my experience I've seen with a lot of these photos, right? So when I look at this, I'm going, okay, I can see that right there. Look at how bright that is. And look at them all. They've done it all there to make them all completely bright. What happens if we were to bring that down a bit, right? Now, folks, I want you to take note of this. Have a look at this area right here in the middle of the circle, just over this arrow. It has an arch shaped something or other right there in the photo. How is this possible? Almost looks like it has walled features on the right hand side of that as well. See that? See this arch right here? I'm going to go slowly over it right there. I'm going to put the arrow just in the middle of it. And you can see this arch type shape inside this ringed area. How is this possible? They're nothing more than particles, right? Okay. All right, let's go into Photoshop and have a lot closer look, shall we? Okay. Here's this area I was just telling you about. Right here, and I find this really interesting. Okay, right here, you can see that. Notice this arch shape right here, and it has these pieces sticking out. What is going on there? You can see it has an arch. Is that real? I mean, what are we looking at here, folks? But that's not the only area. You'll see other areas that look like they have square pieces, round pieces, so on and so forth, like this area here. Round piece, a couple squares and round pieces. Right there, see that? Okay, you got to look closely. Look at these here on the left. Check this out. Now, these would be standing upward, although it kind of looks weird. If you back up on this, 
and do this. It kind of looks like it's doing this. It looks like it's kind of doing this and then straight up a wall. At least that's what it looks like when you first look at it, but it's not. It's supposed to be completely flat. Hmm. Have a closer look, folks. Again, we have things like this here. And all of these small pieces. You can see the two of these pieces here. I and mean, what is going on here? And like I said, I noticed this right here, this arch type thing. Right here. What are we looking at there? See that? Is that just random particles and just things laying around? All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go into the fully enhanced photo. And what I try to do is bring down these really, really bright areas. Again, I see this a lot on the moon photos from NASA, so on and so forth. Look at this whole area. Look at this. All the way down. Like they totally brought up the brightness or just painted this brightness in to make it look really shiny due to the sun, right? All right, so let's get into the full enhancement. Okay. Now, let's have a closer look at some of these background pieces. We still got these pieces right there. Other pieces would look like little rings and stuff like that. And I want to show you a different way to look at this as well. All these little doodads in the back here. I'm going to say in the back because it looks like... I still say it looks like this. It looks like a wall. Almost like looking at inside of a hamster wheel where it's, it's flat and then it has an edge sticking out for the hamster to run on. It looks like it had that kind of weird thing going on as opposed to, you know, being completely flat. Is it possible it's doing that? I don't know. Right here, you got what looks like a little square and two little circles inside there. See that right there? I'm just going to do this randomly. Just go down the line here. Here's this arch-shaped piece right here. This other area here it looks like it's almost rectangular. You see the smooth edge here, smooth edge here. Notice this right here. Check that out, folks. Look at this. Is this nothing more than just particles thrown together and that's it? I'm 50-50 on it, but it's a little coincidental how you have these weird shapes and something that's just supposed to be randomness that these things happen to be there. Or these shapes happen to be in here. And again, look at all these little pieces. Again, in this little square spot with two little round pieces, or could it be square for all I know. Again, another one right here, like this bigger version. You can see it doing this. And has something inside there. Another one here. What are the chances of this, folks? This looks like an overhang. You can see that. And it looks like it has a shadow underneath it. You guys see that? Look at the pieces that are in this photo, folks. And all of these little pieces in the back. Pause this anywhere you want and have a better look. Now, I find it interesting. There's like this line, and you can see right here, very, very small, and I'll zoom into this. It appears to be something doing this, right? And it looks like there's an opening, like a round opening right there. Let me zoom in and let me show you. I see that right there. Almost appears to have something round, almost looks like a pipe or some sort with something that's round built into it. What do you guys suppose that is? I don't know, folks. Maybe Mr. Bergen was spot on all this time. What do you guys think? Check this out. Now, let me show you a different perspective. Let's flip this around, shall we? Okay. Now let's have another look. Look at all the little pieces that I had arrows at. Check that out, folks. Are we looking at something that's nothing more than dust particles? Or something much more? I looked at these, and I've been looking at these for quite a while. Somebody had mentioned again about doing these, and it kind of just, boom, you're right. I need to get on these. Check this out. Are these really flat like the rest of the ring doing this completely flat or does it in fact go like this and then up meaning this is all flat here we're seeing and this is actually vertical now instead of when we flip it around it's actually flat and this is vertical 
I don't think these are particles. I don't think they're what they claim they are. I think they're actually structures. And this could be, if, and of course this is pure speculation, this could in fact be where these ring makers actually live. Now it says Saturn cannot support life, but a lot of the moons can. And of course, if these are actually real and they're real structures and whatever else, then it doesn't surprise me that there's some kind of civilization building these rings. See that? All these little pieces inside here. To me, it looks like stuff that's built. It does not look like something that's a natural force that is going on with Saturn. Now, when you look at this picture, check this out. This is supposed to be the A-ring, and you can see it comes to an abrupt stop. How is this possible? These, again, are supposed to be rocks. So tell me again why that should stop, that ring. It makes no sense. Was there a break in it, or was it just like half a ring? It doesn't really say that unless you read the book, okay? But I find that pretty interesting. And like I said, folks, check this out. So my question is, too, again, is this like this flat, and then this goes up? Meaning there's an actual lip on this ring? Or is it, as they say, is it completely flat and all of these things are sticking up? Either way, look at the shadows that they're casting. See that? These larger, thicker shadows and all the ones in between? What do you guys think? I'm going to just show you these other two sections again. This one here. You see one corner. Nice and smooth. Another corner right here. You can see this piece going just like this and coming back around. If you look over to this part, you can see this piece doing this. If you take a better and closer look, you can see this thing doing this. Look carefully what these, what look like designed, purposely designed that is, intelligently made part. Not sure, but check that out. Now let me lift these lines and there you go. Folks, what is going on here? Is it nothing more than particles and something that's going on naturally between Saturn and its rings? Or is there much more to it? You guys let me know. Folks, I don't know. What are we seeing here? Like I said in the beginning, we can only speculate as to what these things are. But what I'm seeing is more like solid objects than it is what they say. It's not solid at all. It's some kind of particles. Could be anything from ice. Could be dust. Could be rocks. Could be anything that's built up on the edge. Now, is, again, is this completely flat ring, or does it go flat and then there's a lip at the end, and all of these structures sticking out this way, as opposed to straight up and down? It has that weird illusion. This is the reason why I turned the photo around, so we can get a different perspective, okay? Now, if this is true, where Mr. Bergeron talks about the A-ring not being completed, the only way it cannot be completed is if something intelligent is going on, right? Because obviously, naturally, no rocks are going to say, oh, wait, we should stop right there and just stop this line. It's not going to happen, right? So something's going on here. Folks, drop your comments down below. I'm curious to see what you guys got to say about this because I'm like on the fence about this, whether it's real, meaning intelligently made, or if it's done by forces created by Saturn. As always, please like and share it. It's always appreciated. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up so that YouTube will share it. Folks, got three more videos coming up. I told you guys in the live feed I've got four of them. Got three more coming up, so stay tuned for that. Anyway, folks, thanks for watching. Always appreciated, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.